Hi guys, the objective of this video is to just summarize all of the information we've covered in the videos just prior to this one on igneous rocks. So just for a really quick summary, we can see that we have ultramafic, mafic, intermediate and felsic rock. And we can distinguish between these according to how light or dark the rock is. And this coloration depends on how much of certain minerals is contained within the rock. For example, granite has a pink colour because of the feldspar contained within the rock, while gabbro has quite a dark colour because there is minimal quartz within the rock. We can then also categorise the rock into whether it is intrusive or extrusive. Intrusive rock showing crystal structure, while extrusive rock shows minimal crystal structure because it is cooled so quickly. So we know that the rhyolite and granite have very similar chemical composition, and we've gone over this in the past. And we know that the dacite and granodiorite have a similar chemical composition. Same with the andesite and diorite and the basalt and gabbro. They just look different because they've cooled and solidified in different environments. These are the main types of igneous rock that we need to know. And they all sit on this continuum according to how much silicon is in the rock. Here is a really quick flowchart just to see how we classify igneous rocks. Firstly, we should ask ourselves, is the rock crystalline? If it's not crystalline and majority of the grains are fine with some small crystals, we say that it is extrusive. If it is a crystalline rock with a lot of coarse grains that are all interlocking, we say that it is intrusive. Once we have decided whether the rock is intrusive or extrusive, we then have a look at the colour of the rock. If an extrusive rock is quite light in colour, we would call it a felsic rock and therefore it is probably a rhyolite. If this extrusive rock is white with only some black spots, we would call it dacite. If we have a rock that is black or grey in colour with only some white spots, it would be andesite. And a very dark rock would be called mafic and therefore a basalt. Any intrusive rock that is quite light in colour and has some pink included in it is a felsic rock and is probably granite. An intrusive rock that is white with some black spots is granodiorite. When we have a black rock with some white spots, we call this diorite. And a rock that is intrusive, all black, is probably mafic, and therefore gabbro. And then we have a few terms to describe some special extrusive igneous rocks. First we have vesicular rocks, which includes rocks like pumice and scoria. These form because of a release of volatiles when the magma hits the earth's surface. Then we have glassy rocks. These glassy rocks can either have a glassy finish to them or they can be vesicular. These form because of a very rapid cooling of the molten rock and this produces an atomic structure similar to that of glass. Finally, we have fragmented igneous rocks which form because of explosive eruptions. These fragmented rocks include volcanic breccia and tuff, and they are formed of broken up pieces of exploded rock, volcanic ash and lava. So now we should understand all the different types of volcanic rock and how to name them. The rock names I've used in this summary video are all the main types of rocks you will face in your course.